Welcome everyone, this is Axel from blogna.fr, which is a French blog, but this video is gonna be in English. In this video, I'm gonna present you this, uh, I'm gonna introduce you with Gravity uh, in this version, which is really alpha slash beta. It's the, um, the last version from the programmer Jan Ole uh, from Germany. And this is the version 1.32 build 6671, which you will not be able to find right there in that menu. You will, you will have to download it in the link I'm going to give you um, just down, down below. So the main feature of this, of this version is that the, the programmer added a virtual keyboard that actually replaces the one that's actually that's currently on Symbian 3 so you will not get the um, the you know the default one you will get that one but it's an alpha version so no problem so it's something really new it's not working 100% great but it's already nearly nearly perfect not perfect but you know it's something that's that's really gonna be uh, great when it's gone when it's improved and you will have to give your feedbacks to the developer on Twitter, for for instance, on or send him an email. So send uh, send a tweet to to Yanole on Twitter. It's called J N J A N O L E something like this. Well, never mind. And so you've got a <laughs> landscape mode and a portrait mode. So let's have a look at that portrait mode. You've got the number of characters right there on the top right corner. The letters are, you know, when you press them, you've got you've got a little pop up just up there. Um, on the top top right corner, you've got a send button, which is kind of kind of cool, right there. It's really responsive, you know. It's it's much better than the the one the native one on Symbian three. Um, it's I don't know it's it's something really really interesting to work on and to try also so here is the number of characters I already tell you told you that you've got the backspace that right there you can't really select uh, text for the moment but maybe you will be able to do there's a big space bar and you can actually copy and paste not copy uh, but paste I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes but in a few seconds but here it is. You you can actually show other characters by um, pressing long pressing on one key. So, for instance, on the E here. There's no auto correction, neither uh, neither auto completion yet. So, if you want to paste text, you press there and then. The V is highlighted, so you can press on it, and it's gonna pa paste the text. And then you've got the numbers there, and other stuff like the slash, uh, exclamation mark, and stuff like this. So uh, the classic thing. Uh, really responsive, really, really responsive. That's like the best, the best thing in this keyboard for the moment and you can also put uh, letters in uppercase using the button just at the left of the Z and let's see that in landscape mode Let's get mode. Uh, the keys are way bigger than in portrait mode. As a matter of fact, in portrait mode, it's quite. It's a little bit too narrow, and you can't really use it. But I don't know. Maybe in the future. And in landscape mode, it's nearly perfect. The keys are big. You can use it really nicely. But there's no, you know, there's no correction, auto completion. But it's already something great that, you know we have to work on it we have to help him work on it and give him our feedbacks so that's about it that was short but this is you know this new version uh, the guy will work on it and we have to give him our feedback if you have some feature requests 
you can send him a tweet on Twitter, obviously. And, uh, and I mean, that's it. So take care and bye-bye.